I'll say he's not different, but um, so the way I look at it is um, two, two ways is um, that there's uh, 12 counts in baseball. Uh, eight have, have non two strikes in it, right? So the only two strike counts are 0-2, 1-2, 2-2, and 3-2. In the major leagues, 48 to 54% of your counts will get two strikes. So that right there just shows you how tough the skill is. When I have double the counts with less than two strikes, but nor most big league hitters will be at or above or slightly below with two strikes. So um, I'll, I'll use Tony Gwynn. So I got this from Tony Gwynn. <coughs> <clears throat> the best the best way to have a two strike approach is not to get there one right we can laugh at that right don't get there right get get your damage done early and the second way is um, bless his heart guy named Mike Dari died in a uh, accident in what 02 I think it was but him and I were sitting around the little turtle hitting and Tony Gwynn what he always does was like I asked him I think or Mike like hey what do you do with two strikes and you know he would never answer questions he then always throw it back on you that's why. Maybe that's his way of keeping people from asking questions. So, <laughs> <clears throat> so Mike Dar said, well, I, I, I choke up a little bit. You know, he was a lefty hitter. He could really hit. He was an outfielder. So he would choke up. And that was what he did. You know, I always grew up in the era where I, would, I, would, I always choked up to begin with. Like, I was always right, right here on the bat. Because when I was young, someone told me I was better. So I just did it. Uh, but I would spread out, right? I was always told, like, you spread out a little bit. And so then Tony Gwynn basically just beat us up over it. He goes, okay. So at two strikes, you're on defense, right? And nope, we're on offense. He goes, no, no, you're on defense. I stay on the offensive side. I said, okay, I got you. He goes, and you shorten your bat, so you limit what you can get to, and you just change your eye level because the wider you get, the lower you get. How often do you practice two strikes? I go, never. <coughs> then why do you change? And from that point on, that day, when I got two strikes, I never changed. I got in the box and I changed my approach. Maybe I got, maybe I got down a little earlier, right? Depending on what I thought the pitch would be. But that would be like mapping pitches out, which these kids will do. But I, my goal was I was going to be a little bit more vertical and horizontal, this way and this way, just a little bit more, uh, and be more aggressive. But I wasn't going to be a choke up guy or spread out guy, or you know. Um, and I often tell my high school kids every year when I do like a two strike approach cap, I go, hey, can we all hit a two? Can we hit a two run home run with no strikes? With this guy on second base, yeah. Can we do it with two strikes? And they usually, when they ask, they pause. And that shows you how crippling baseball's made, right? It's like, hey, can we hit home run no strikes? And they're like, yeah, yeah. Can you hit home run two strikes? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> because once you hear two strikes, what does it do to your brain? It freezes us. It freezes you guys. You know, if I did that exercise here, like, hey, can you hit a grand slam with no strike? Yeah. Can you hit a grand slam 3 0? Yeah. Can you hit a grand slam 0 2? Yeah. Yeah, because when we get two strikes, there's a fear of it. And so, again, at a young age, we want to create, there's no, there's no fear. I mean, you just heard the Carter Newman story, like, hey, it's OO. So, <clears throat> the only 